the key for this project was to simulate a real device, so to remove the reliance on hardware, so physical hardware. So you don't need a Raspberry Pi to check everything out. You just basically spin this up and it behaves like a Raspberry Pi, so you can do all of your system D commands on it, internal D and everything. So it's really to quickly get everything up and running and to kind of get a bit better understanding about what thin edge is and how to extend it and all of that. So I'd like to demo that first. Um, so you can kind of see on the, the page, you know, what's all included. So I basically just copy this from the project page. So we can see here, this the project it has a list of all of the features it can do. So configuration management, device reboot, special events, log management, measurements, remote access, et cetera. Um, and to get started, it's actually really easy because we're using a Docker Compose file. So because I want to do something a little bit more interesting, I'm going to do this all live. And I'm going to find myself just to show you how easy it really is. So I'm just going to start off, get the URL for the Docker Compose. So my goal is to have everything up and running within 90 seconds. So let's start the clock. So I'll just do a live demo first. So I'm just creating a folder. I'm going to curl to it. So I've just downloaded the Docker Compose. But because I also want to kind of customize it maybe. So this has two devices at the moment. I'm just going to add a third one. So child devices, I mean, goes up. So it's now started and I'm using a CLI tool, so it kind of plays nicely with the CLI tools and I'm just bootstrapping it to say, yes, connect to this kind of uh, convolocity tenant. Um, it suggested a random ID for me to use. I just press enter because I forgot to. Um, and then it goes through the bootstrapping. So it'll do like the certificate upload automatically. And this is all using kind of the session that I had for the Go CAY CLI stuff. Uh, but if you don't have any kind of environment variable set, it'll actually prompt you for all of the information. So then you can enter in whatever uh, device ID you want and the tenant. So you can also enter that in manually. But for the kind of the demo situation, you basically want to get everything up and running as fast as possible. OK, and I'm done. So it gives me a nice URL link that I can go to. And here's my new device. Let's make that a little bit bigger. And so we can see here I have three child devices also set up because part of Thin Edge is showing, hey, you can connect to child devices um, and they can be, you know, act as the gateway for the child devices to communicate with the cloud. Um, we have all of the, the nice features. So we have services. We even have some custom uh, plugins installed for the container, which was demoed in the last uh, community meetup. You can interact with software uh, management. So you can also, because we have system D and it's a fully fledged Debian environment, you can also install all of the Debian packages via APT and the normal kind of mechanism. Everything that you would have done with your Raspberry Pi, you can do here. So we have log file management and we've also installed like the community plugins for the shell. So if I wanted to do just to show that we're really running a, a Debian system, so we're running a Debian 11 bullseye instance. So the idea of this is it has everything in it, so it's really use um, everything's pretty much out of the box. Um, so you can even do you know, web SSH in there. So it has a default user that I can then connect to my container and everything behaves nicely. Uh, so just give it a sec. And then I'm inside my container. Then, so the child devices are also using, so extending what we had in the examples repository. Um, we're also showing basically all of the features that we can do on child devices. Uh, so for example, the latest one in 10 or 0.10 was firmware management. So we have also an example that's the child connector also supports firmware updates. 
So we just have like a dummy which doesn't really do anything. It just kind of downloads it, sends a custom event uh, using the TED API saying, hey, I'm doing something. Uh, and it records, you know, how long it took, for example. Uh, so everything's contained there in the project. Um, and you can see that we also uh, created that when it's trying to install firmware, because let's say that uses a little bit more CPU. So we just kind of generated some dummy, you know, while loop doing some kind of calculation. So we can see here there was a spike in CPU um, while I was doing the firmware update. Just so you can have a little bit more live dynamic uh, demos. Uh, so it's not just ever always a flat curve and everything like that. 